Welcome back to my channel, Mississippi Girl Garden and Coupon Event. And see, I am Twinkle coming at you with not an oldie but a goodie video. So, y'all, in this video, we're going to be doing a harvest. I have some broccoli I need to go get before I lose it. I don't know what that is, but something flying. I have broccoli that I need to get, and then I have some greens that I need to get. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this harvest. The harvesting has started, y'all. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get into this video, y'all. So, here go my broccoli. Let me see if I can draw y'all closer. This is my broccoli. So, this is, a, this is what I'm about to be harvesting. I think I'm going to take all the heads, because this one right here trying to separate on me. And I see a little bit of yellowing, so I don't want him to um to flower anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it, y'all. So yeah, I got my stick right here because all these spider webs and all that. This is one that I took. I hope you guys can see. right here y'all <laughs> this is the one separating I need my bigger um, pruners. Um, yeah, see, I almost lost this one. This one almost went to seed. There's a lot of yellowing going on. So, it almost went to seed, y'all. Okay, y'all, let's bring y'all around. I got a couple more I need to get. Now, honestly, y'all. Okay, so this one has a lot of little bugs on it. So. I'm going to see about that one, y'all. Had a lot of little bugs on it. Now, I'm going to tell you what I think I'm going to do. Now, when you harvest this, side shoots will come up but 
Um, it's getting really, really hot here. And broccoli and stuff will bolt. So I think what I'm going to do is put something else useful in these containers. Because in my area, it's getting really, really hot. And so we got to harvest off from it. Now I can wait and let side shoots come up. Yeah, throw that away. That one was infested, y'all. Yeah, you can show them. Just put your hand around. I'll tell you when you in. I don't want to touch you. No more than I already did. That one is infested, y'all, with a lot of little bugs. So, we're not going to keep that one. You should be able to see it. Um, we're not going to keep that one. And what I think I'm going to do, because I need the, the things, is I think I'm going to be pulling these up. Probably just going to go ahead and yank these up. Um, and then go from there. So, uh... Yeah, because like I say, it's getting really, really hot. Broccoli and stuff is like, you know, they do better in cool weather, cooler weather. weather. But I wanted to show you guys that it can be grown in five-gallon buckets, okay? So, that's the main thing right there. So, I have two more. So, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to go harvest some greens, y'all. All right? This is what we was able to get off the broccoli. Um, three, the other three, they just look like caterpillar eggs. Okay, I got some for them though because I they had to just do that because I normally check and that way I get my spray. But since I know and I haven't seen and I know how quick it is, I am gonna go through and spray everything with my spray. But these are the three that, they, that we did get that didn't have anything. And there go one right there. That must have been the little egg. The little caterpillar worm looking thing. I don't know if y'all can see him. But we did get three. Okay. Okay, y'all. After seeing that, I'm finna spray everybody. Okay. So, this is my peppermint and rosemary with a little dish soap and water. Okay. And that's what I'm using. I made this a couple, maybe about two weeks ago. And it's still good. But I'm finna spray everybody. Because I'm done with the broccoli. <laughs> I'm done with the broccoli. I'm done with the broccoli. Um, it's about 6 o'clock in the evening. The sun has pretty much went down. And it's on that side a little bit. So I'm kind of windy. But well, it's a little windy. It's a little cooler. So I'm finna spray. Yeah, you can if you want to. Hubby is going to um, go and pull up that broccoli. Now I got more buckets, y'all. So I'm just spraying. I'm spraying everybody over here. And if you really see a problem, go under the leaves and stuff. But since I really don't see, um, this is a preventative for me now. I am doing this as a preventative. All I also get on the floor and around to even stop them to try to come on the floor and around. So, I'm not going to spray my purple cauliflower because it's already just started growing. Um, I'm spraying everything that ain't started, that ain't did buds yet. So, my cabbages, okay? I'm glad I ain't seen him then. Like I said, y'all, I'm spraying this as a preventative. 
as a preventative, okay? Mosquitoes coming out. Them little caterpillar looking egg things. Y'all, that's why I say you have to constantly watch your thing. So, if you can see, I'm spraying everybody down. Go ahead and get so over here is all the squash. So that's what I'm doing now. So yeah, y'all. See, I'm getting the harvest and uh, and me getting the rid, rid of the pest, okay? Harvest and a pest, okay? Yeah, I'm about out of it, y'all. Trying to make some more. Okay. I'll make some more and be back out here. Getting it. Now I got some more buckets, so we're going to go up here to the top. And we about to harvest some greens, y'all, okay? All right, y'all. So now we over here, and we're about to get some of this nice um, kale and some lettuce, and I got some Swiss chards that's ready, ready, ready. All right. <laughs> um. So yeah, let me get my. Go down there and give me those strainers. There's me two of them down there. The orange and red thing. Oh, never mind. I got them right here. They bought up here. They froze them down there. All right, y'all. So I got my strainer. This is just what I'm using right now to I get me a thing. Um. So yeah, we're gonna take some of this purple kale. Okay. Let me get y'all to make sure y'all can see. Purple kale. Put you right there. Well, let me tell you, so the broccoli that was infested got cut with these. I got to get my other. I got some. These came from the Dollar Tree. Nothing wrong with them. But I got some thicker ones that I had last year that was more, you know. But um, anytime, whatever you're using, scissors, shears, whatever, when you use them, okay, make sure you clean them, especially if you run across anything that's infested and stuff. Clean them before you start with your other stuff, okay? So I just wanted to say that. So let's go ahead and get some of this kale. Ready. I 
I look as I go and make sure ain't no bugs on them. You know, I'm still gonna wash them, but I wanna make sure. This one, I can have a little bit of spider mite action going on. I'll throw that one away. No biggie. Pretty crisp kale. Yes, 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 bit more spider mite two leaves get up there was a little worm on that one let me stomp him and a little bit of spider mite so we lost three leaves which is fine you know but I know I'm gonna get my soap water and come out here and spray up here too So I'm gonna leave that alone. Let it do what it do. Now we're about to get into some of that kale. we got and what I have going on right now is I have some um some salt water cold water cold salt water in the sink because that's what I'm gonna dump all my stuff in to make sure I clean it now y'all look I did this um I didn't buy no Swiss chard this year okay I did this Swiss chard from seed y'all look how quick hold on y'all the camera seems like it wanna Go down too quick. All right, make sure y'all can see right here. Um, this is a multicolor Swiss chard I grow from seed, y'all. It's big and it's pretty, y'all. Everybody loved the Swiss chard last year. And when you cut it, y'all, it grows back so quick. Woo, it grows back so quick, y'all. You always have you some Swiss chard. And the smaller the leaves, they say the more tender. I let mine get pretty big last year before harvesting. Trying to put it to make sure y'all can see. Using the small ones, I'm gonna let them get a little bit more bigger. Um, see, that's my turnip. My turnip right there. 
got one or two switch cards over here I can pull. I gotta clean these weeds out. They trying to take over. Let me see. I'm going to go ahead and take this one. And then over here I got some. Um, this is a mixed colored Swiss chart. But so far I got the green. So I'm going to let that get a little bit more bigger or whatever. And yeah. So this is what the Swiss chart is looking like. A lot of Swiss chard, y'all. Right? Because I can mix the Swiss, the Swiss chard with the kale. And that's how you do that right there. Now, let me get something, y'all, for this lettuce. Alright, y'all. So, I got a little sum sum here for the lettuce, y'all. For the lettuce, y'all. So... Now this is butter crunch lettuce. We love butter crunch lettuce, okay? So this is gonna be my actually six, seven, uh, second, second harvest of lettuce, y'all. So, and it came back so, so much after cutting it the first time, y'all. I don't want my head in it. I wanna be able to, y'all can see, okay? So it came back so much, y'all. So much. <laughs> And that's what normally happens after you harvest it. That one time. Oh, it comes back quickly and abundantly. Hmm? Just put that right there. And this lettuce, y'all, the butter crunch, it is so soft and silky like hmm so y'all I'm putting all the way around it as they call it, the cut and come back again method. So, and some of you probably saw me when I harvest this. I harvest this just what? Just um, a few weeks ago. Maybe about a week and a half. I could have harvested sooner than that, but I'm just getting back out here. Fuss on. And I showed y'all how to store it in my other video. Um, how I wash it and stuff. So, um, if you didn't see that video, um, I will put that link in the description box to the other to my first harvest of this. And that way you will see how I wash and store it, okay? This is just going to be the harvesting, all right? So, like I say, I'll put that link in the description box for anybody that didn't see the first harvest. Because I actually harvested and washed it and showed you how I store it.
So much lettuce, y'all. I love it. All right. I'm gonna let that do what it do. Uh, let's see. Now, I have some mint that I need to harvest, so we're gonna go and look at this. Okay, y'all, so I just have this little plate. I'm gonna do mine. Um, this is my spearmint, um, and I will be drying the mint. That'll be another video, you guys. Tonight, I'm just gonna wash it and get it, you know, prepared. But this is my mint, and mint comes back very quickly too. So this is my spearmint, all right? So I'm about to harvest on this, y'all. And there's so much you can do with mint, y'all. So much you can do with mint. You know, make oil and different things like this. Dry it. You can dry the leaves whole. Well, dry them whole, and then you can always crush them up and all that, that extra and use it for whatever you want to use it from. So I'm going to get me a lot of this mint so, I can, so it can go ahead and grow and produce some more for me. Okay. Some mojito. Hubby said put them in some mojitos. I can't have no mojito. The alcohol. Huh? I said you gotta remind him to make sure to slap it first. Slap what? The mint before you put it in. Gotta slap it. Fix it up. Oh, oh, okay. Said so slap the mint, y'all, before you put it in so it'll wake it up. <laughs> so yeah, oh it smells so good, y'all. So good. And this is the sweet sweet mint. Yoruba something. But hey, it smells really, really good. And I'm not supposed to have a lot of mint like for us eating it, but I can turn this into all um like fragrance for the house, different things you can do without having to eat it. No, but I am gonna try it to see if it's different from me growing it and buying it out the store. Okay, I just want to cut this all the way down, and this is what I meant, y'all. How y'all see, I cut my leaves when I, if I buy a plant out the store, I cut it all the way down and let it grow. That way, I know where the leaves come from, who been around the leaves, other than nature. So, and that's what I did. And you see, this is one of the plants I had cut down when I bought it. And, you know, it, it did, it did it the double. <laughs> it did it thing. It's thing. So, hold up, y'all. So this is my mint. This is the spearmint. So much mint, y'all. And excuse my nails. I need to redo them, but hey, it's all right. Put it over there. So now y'all we about to do oh so now we're about to do my chocolate mint okay my chocolate mint and this smells really really good too y'all really really good too so yeah chocolate mint and I'm gonna do it the same way Whew. I wish y'all could smell that. Woo. I 
And like I said, I'm just going to cut it all the way down. Sorry, y'all, if I'm all in the thing. I know my head is probably all in the camera. I keep dropping it. Trying to hold it. Well, I don't drop it. There's no certain way that I'm cutting it. I just want it cut down so I don't lose no mint. I'm going to leave it like that. And this is my chocolate mint, y'all. Okay, you guys. So, this is so the broccoli. Let me go ahead and tell you the broccoli. As we looked at the broccoli more, y'all know how the broccoli comes up. Those things had made so much of a home. It looked like a nest under there. No way I would have seen it without taking those leaves down and stuff like that. So, this is year number two that I've tried broccoli. I can't get that broccoli to go, but hey, I ain't giving up on it. Guys, will I try again next year? Okay, but anyway, y'all, that's what happens in the ground. Some things work, something I cannot get broccoli to grow here in North Carolina, right? But it's all good though. It was fun growing it, but hey, something else gonna go in those pots. All right, but this is my butter crunch lettuce. And sorry for the lighting, everything looks darker in here. I don't know why. But this is all the butter crunch lettuce. It's been washed and everything. And I'm about to put it away. And I'll show you guys once I get everything packaged. Um, right here is my purple kale. This is my um, Swiss chard. This is my chocolate mint. And this is the sweet mint. Okay. There you go. The sweet mint. So, yeah. I'll be back and show you what it looks like when I get it all dried and stored. I'm going to like hand dry, not dehydrate it today, but hand dry it. Okay. All right, you guys. So I got everything all bagged up. I'm not worried about, you know, um, wrapping it in aluminum foil or anything like that because everything will either be, uh, well, the mint will be um, dehydrated and the lettuce and stuff will be eaten this week. So, well, this over the weekend. So I got my purple kale right here, y'all. And I date everything um, and what it is dated. So that's a lot of purple kale. And then my butter crunch lettuce, y'all, is in here. I chopped it up. Got my Swiss chard right here, you guys. So, yep. Got my sweet mints right here. <laughs> and my chocolate mint right here, y'all. All right. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. Hey you guys, so with that, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did filming it. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time the girl upload a video. Go out and grow your food, y'all. I mean, it saves a lot of money and... I mean, it, with everything going on, it's the way to go. So, with that being said, you guys, I'm going to leave you with my motto. Gardening is supposed to be fun. If you make it hard, it may not never get done. With that being said, y'all have a good day, night, whenever you're watching this, y'all. And um, I'll see y'all in the next one. Till next time, you guys, happy gardening. Bye.